Hi, and welcome to this presentation of SAP Business One Sales and CRM. What we want to look at today is typical customer relationship management and sales opportunity functionality inside SAP Business One. We're going to start by having a quick look at some dashboards and an overview, and then we'll drill down into sales opportunities and some of the sales functionality, CRM and marketing functionality available in standard SAP Business One. For those of you that have used SAP Business One before, you'll be familiar with the initial interface, which in this instance, I have a KPI dashboard, my sales analysis dashboard, with my year-to-date versus last year analysis, my sales opportunity win rate, my top five customers, and my item ranking. Of course, I can view this dashboard by customers or sales employees. So that's a typical login KPI report for a sales or CRM user. Down the right hand side, my open documents so it enables the salesperson to quickly get to their open sales quotations. And there they are, double click, sort, and I can get into those particular quotations. Of course, my messages and alerts down the right hand side here, so all important for salespeople, the ability to see their activity scheduled for today. So let's just call up those for today, and I can see a number of follow ups that are required from myself as the salesperson. That's my reminder or to do list. Again, if I open one of those up, I can see the activity sitting inside that particular to do list. Down here, my common functions, so the salesperson can go directly from the initial entry screen to a sales opportunity, for example, or alternatively, possibly to a sales quotation. Let's not forget as well that I can launch reports from this screen. So if I come in here, I might go directly to a sales analysis. Let's just click on that. And here's a nice Excel based pivot table sales analysis available for the sales team with typical pivot table type functionality. Going back into SAP Business One from where I launched that report, let's now focus a little bit more specifically on the sales opportunities, the activities and CRM type functionality. So let's start with sales opportunities. In SAP Business One, I have the ability to keep opportunities against customers or leads. Leads obviously being cus uh, companies that are not yet customers. So let's go in and we'll create one. Let's call up, in this instance, an existing customer, Earthshaker. Of course, I can at this point if I want to drill down and get more information on that particular customer, or if it wasn't a customer, if it was in fact a lead, I could get more information on them at this point in time. And let's say that I think in the next three months, we're going to do $120,000 worth of business with them. I think that the margin will be 30% and the level of interest is high. What's their interest in which product range? I'm gonna drill down here and I'm gonna say they're interested in some new IT servers and they're also interested in office space. Under the general tab, I'm going to put new requirement for Earthshaker, new offices in Melbourne, needs servers times three. Just some general notes. Of course, I can also say where the lead came from. So it was a current client lead and the industry they're in. They're in the medical industry, giving me additional information to sort my leads and opportunities. What stage are they at? Now, the stages that I've set up in SAP Business One sales opportunities are lead, first meeting, second meeting, quotation, negotiation, order. But I can have a different series of stages. Let's say, for example, here we are currently at quotation stage. I can see that. According to the rules I've set in the sales opportunity module, the system has equated this to a 60% chance at winning. Because I think this is an existing customer and we, we think we've got a good chance at closing this business, I'm gonna change that to 
and I can see that the weighted amount then changes. I have the ability to attach, for example, a sales quotation at this point in time or other related documents using the related documents field button down the bottom right hand side, allowing me, for example, to put um, documents against this sales opportunity. I can say if we're partnering with anyone in this instance and uh, what the relationship is. So, for example, if we're working with another company to try and win this business, I can say who my competitor is. It's ABC Company. I think they're a low threat, but they are low cost. Again, we're keeping strategic information against that particular sales opportunity. I can put attachments in. So obviously at this point in time, I can browse and I could attach, for example, the request for proposal against this particular opportunity or specific contract documentation against this opportunity. I'm going to go and add that one in. Now just go back to that opportunity. Let's not forget when that opportunity is won or lost, I can mark it as won or lost. And if the opportunity was lost, I could say why we lost the opportunity. But once again, let me just mark that one as open. So what we've seen there is we've seen the ability in SAP Business One to capture information against a lead or an existing customer, information associated with strategic selling. So what do we think we're going to sell? When are we going to sell it? What stage are we currently at in terms of the sales cycle? Um, and as the sales cycle progresses, I can put additional lines in here. So I can then, for example, add another row that says we're now at order stage. And I think we've got a 90% chance. Who am I partnering with? Who are my competitors? I can attach documents that all the documents are together against the opportunity. And of course, I can say whether or not I won or lost that particular opportunity. Of course, I can add my own user-defined fields if I want additional fields against this sales opportunity. The beauty of having the sales opportunities inside SAP Business One rather than on spreadsheets is I now have multiple reports that I can call on to get me additional information. Let's have a look at a few of these. First of all, an opportunities forecast report. As with most reports in SAP Business One, as I open up the selection criteria, I have multiple choices that I can make. I can say, for example, do I just want to have a look at the sales opportunity report for one customer or one lead, just for one territory, perhaps just for one sales employee. So I'm particularly interested in sales opportunities for Brett. Let me go through and have a look at what opportunities Brett has, which stage they're at, etc., which industry they're in. And as I call that up, I get a typical sales opportunity report list, and now I can have a look and see all of those that are at first meeting stage, lead stage, negotiation order, and quotation stage. And of course, if I want to, I can drill down to the actual opportunity in question. Another example of the reporting inside SAP Business One, an opportunity pipeline report. Again, I have multiple selection criteria, like which sales employee, which stage, which dates they're at. And here I can see I've got four opportunities at lead stage, 14 at first meeting stage, two at second meeting, 20 at quotation, two at negotiation stage. If I now want to drill down into one of those, I can take it, drill down, and it'll bring me to the particular opportunity in question. Or if I want to see the first meeting opportunities again, drill down and there they are. Let's not forget, I can also add some of my own uh, sales reporting into the system. So down on the bottom right hand side here, I have, for example, um, some opportunity analysis and activity reports. And of course, this reporting uh, can sit, for example, inside SAP Crystal Reports, and I can call up nice graphical reports. Uh, so for example, let's have a look at one of those. And what we're seeing here is total potential revenue by salesperson, number of opportunities by salesperson, the various salespeople and total number of opportunities, total potential revenue. And I can go through the report and now drill down to each individual salesperson. So can you imagine the power of this when I'm sitting in a sales meeting and I can call up total potential revenue by salesperson, the number of opportunities. For example, here I can see that Brad Thompson has 15 opportunities, Sophie has 17 but Bill only has five opportunities. And again, I can see dollar values against those as well. 
if I look at the total potential revenue by salesperson, I can see Bill only has $99,000 in potential revenue, yet someone like Sophie has $474,000 in potential revenue. So again, very powerful reporting attached to the SAP Business One sales opportunities. Let's touch on a couple of other areas of the CRM and SAP Business One. First of all, as I call up a customer or a lead in SAP Business One, obviously I can do things like keep activities against that particular customer or opportunity. So an activity, for example, might be a phone call, a meeting, a task, a note, or a campaign. Let's just say this is a phone call about contracts which need a new agreement called about new agreement might be the heading the call is with Bob from Earthshaker Corporation content called about new agreement will sign tomorrow and I can add that activity into the system of course, once again, I can link documents or attachments as part of the document management. So, for example, I might actually scan a copy of the agreement and attach that into the activity inside SAP Business One. The other really good thing about these activities, which are held against the customer or the lead, is I can also forward this to someone else. So I might say, I want to forward this to Bill and say, please follow up. And I can then forward that particular activity to Bill. So if you take that in a real life scenario, what might happen is we might get an inbound call. Someone says, could you please follow up on that particular agreement? I might take the call, but I know that it's intended for Bill. I can then, using the activities, forward that activity onto Bill for action. So again, what that's doing is when I have a look at all of the related activities against the customer, I can now see all of those activities against there. Now what I can do is I can say to my salespeople that before you go onto the customer site, either from a notebook computer or let's not forget to a mobility device, so an Android device or an Apple device, they can get all of the customer activities. More than the customer activities, they can also get opportunities against the customer, sales quotations against the customer, and general information not just, as I said, from a notebook computer, but also from the iPad or Android device. I'm gonna to touch on one other area of uh, the CRM at this point in time, which is the campaign and campaign generation wizard. This is the ability to generate marketing campaigns inside SAP Business One. So those campaigns can be, for example, done through the campaign or the campaign generation wizard, and they can be an email, mail, fax, type campaign and effectively what the system will do is allow us to either import a database or use an existing customer database or lead database inside SAP Business One and allow us to run campaigns for certain target customers for example and for certain target items inside SAP Business One to run what might be for example an HTML newsletter campaign. There are also opportunities to integrate uh, through to the likes of MailChimp as well, if you might be using MailChimp to run your HTML newsletters. So a quick recap on what we've looked at as part of the CRM inside SAP Business One. We've looked at some standard sales type dashboard reporting. Let's not forget, you can also write your own sort of dashboard. So here's one that's been written, which is a top 10 business partners dashboard. We looked at the ability to quickly get to your open sales quotations and orders, all your common functions. We looked at sales opportunities and the ability to take the opportunities out of Excel and put them into SAP Business One, both for leads and for existing customers as part of your Salesforce automation, and the ability to report on those opportunities. We've discussed the ability to have activities against the customer notes, activities, attachments, and the ability to forward those activities onto someone else who might need to action a particular activity. And then we briefly discussed campaign generations and campaign wizard, which allows us to run marketing campaigns inside SAP Business One, elements like newsletters that might be going to customers. So for example, you might be sending a newsletter to all of your customers about a new product range. 
there's a lot of standard reporting in SAP Business One as well around the sales opportunities and the sales side of things and that all important standard SAP crystal type reporting uh, which can be included or written around your CRM and sales opportunities as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed the presentation. Please don't forget that there's lots of other information available on our website at leveragetech.com.au. Thanks for watching.